Oh, it's so nice to see so many of you here already. I'm normally talking to myself at the start of a stream. <laughs> How are you all? Welcome to the channel, Lainey. Just setting my chat up properly. I've just got an advert pop up. There we go. I think we're on now. So, you are right. I am colouring from this beautiful book, The Ink Case by Rory Dobner. And we started this page on the last stream. And then, in my own time, I really had the urge to start this page as well. So, last night, I coloured this little owl in here. So, that's really cute. I love how he turned out. Super, super cute. So, I think I'm going to start off today with this little kitty cat's hat. And I'm going to make it a sort of deep green. Um, I'm not sure what colour I'm going to put in this little bandana or scarf what's on it yet but I'm going to do the actual hat green so we'll start off there and I'm going to base it all first with a polychromos hookers green 159 hey mini I'm brilliant thanks how are you I'm brilliant today let's just try and zoom me in <laughs> where about you from Lainey is it early or late where you are in the world I'm gonna get straight into this today hey Lou I'm gonna bring you in even further I think is that better you can see his cool shades <laughs> you was fantastic yesterday, Lou. You really was. I know there was teething problems with the sound and that, but I, you'll get it sorted. You'll get it down. That's why I stream from my phone. I don't need to mess with any settings. It's just one, one little device because I am clueless. Technology and me don't go together. Oh, you have Birmingham. I'm not too far away then. <laughs> not too far away. I bet you can tell my accent then, can't you, Lainey? Oh, yeah, look, look forward to those... Um, 10 days mini the bunny happy trek out you know what i was gonna go for something really unconventional i picked a couple of colors out last night and i was like i don't know why but i want to make him like a teddy bear <laughs> and um i'll show you the colors i've picked out for it it's really not conventional for a bunny but and the luminance pencils so i'm mixing it up totally but I was going to go for this sort of colour, which is the raw umber 10% luminance, which, if you can pick up that sort of shade as a base. And then I was going to go in with this violet grey sort of colour. And make it like a, a sort of a little fluffy sort of teddy rabbit. <laughs> I don't know. It's just the vision I had. Yeah, stream, Streamlabs is alright. Sometimes it can be a bit funny about letting you in, um, the initial connection. But once you're connected, it's absolutely fine and it, you know, it works out fine. I was fine with that. So I'm going to deepen up this hat now with the Prismacolor PC908, the dark green. I think I'm still nervous before I come onto a live still and i've done i've still not done a lot i think i've done about six lives now six or seven lives and i still am really nervous before i come on i think it's just one of them things but as soon as you get into it it's fine it's nice to come on and have a chat it's nice when there's people here talking to you it's not as fun when you're talking to yourself <laughs> 
Do you use Streamlabs Happy Checker? Yeah, it's, it's all right. Sometimes it does take a while to connect. I think I had a, a couple of times where it wouldn't connect, but you just have to keep fiddling it. It was fine after that. So I'm going to make this kitty a ginger kitty if I can. I'm not sure how realistic it's going to look, but you know. Hey ho. <laughs> yeah, I've been trying to do two a week mini while the kids are in school because it's it's a lot easy, easier for me to stream when they're not here. <laughs> when it's quiet um, and I've got a couple of hours to myself in the morning and it's been working out well. I don't think I'm treading on anybody else's toes, as uh, gets said quite a few times. Because I don't think nobody else streams this early. Hi, Jenny. Oh, I'm glad you're here again. Glad you managed to make it. Hopefully I can get this page done today, but we'll see. Depends how, how chatty I am. <laughs> I don't get much done when I'm when I'm chatting away. I noticed yesterday when I did the top hat, um, I'll just bring it down and show you. When I did the top hat, I missed this little bit here. So we'll, fill, we'll have to fill that in in a bit. Hey, Pickle, how are you? How are you doing this morning? don't know what colour to do this scarf bit, what's going round. Possibly a pale green in the centre there. Or I might leave it white and do this bit green. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to go back in with the Hooker's Green 159 for these darker bits here. Just fill those in. Oh, thanks, Jenny. I'm a bit messy with a nail varnish at the minute. I'm not normally that messy. <laughs> I'm doing good pickle, thanks. Yeah, I always paint my own nails. I have a little collection. I have a little stash of uh, varnishes on my desk. They're the colours I normally go for. <laughs> Whoops, knocking them over. Has anybody got anything planned for the weekend? It's Friday, Friday. My partner kills me for singing that. So like, really? Really? <laughs> hey, Shannon. Six, I was just going to say, it's early. It's early. What are you doing awake at 6am? Have you been letting the doggies out? For a tinker winkle. Hopefully my little boy will sleep better tonight than he did last night. Because he kept waking up last night just crying for seemingly no reason whatsoever. I might even break out the Derwent ink tents on some of this. Not quite decided. Not used them in quite a while. Lots of diamond painting and colouring. Chilled, chilled. Sounds perfect. <laughs> Pickle. <laughs> no, I need a coffee first. Or maybe two before I talk. Ten past ten in the evening. That's what time I'm normally getting into bed. <laughs> 
I don't go to sleep at that time, but I'm normally in bed like, you know, scrolling, scrolling the phone, scrolling the good old Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. right on the edge here aren't I am the shot probably wait a bit just get that little tiny bit on the end it's so finicky 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 what's the right word fiddly when you get to the bottom of the page that's the worst bit <laughs> dogs are howling oh You've no neighbours though, have you, Shannon? And you're quite remote where you are. So <laughs> at least the neighbours won't hear the howling, maybe. <laughs> I'm going to darken some of these areas up with the dark green again, PC908. <laughs> what am I doing with this? I do apologise for my zooming in and zooming out skills you know what i forgot to turn that heating off before i came up again i'm gonna end up sweating my cobs off Footy on the TV. Oh, do you like football, Jenny? I can't bear it. I cannot stand it. I can't stand any sport, mate. I'm not. I'm not one of them sporty type of girls. <laughs> I never have been. I really. But the worst thing for me is rugby. I absolutely despair. I cannot watch rugby at all. My fella watches football whenever there's some sort of tournament match. Yada yada. He supports Manchester United. So I just I just come upstairs to my uh, desk when he has that on. <laughs> come out the way. We don't want to watch it. They'll get over it. <laughs> What's a coon hound? My gosh, I've not heard of one of them. <laughs> I've not I've never heard of one of them. What does it look like? It's not picking up very well on camera this this green colour. It looks a lot more vibrant. It just looks really dark on your screen. <laughs> it looks really vibrant in real life, honestly. We'll be moving on to another colour soon. Oh, chat's flying up. Bread to chase raccoons. I'll, I'll have to Google it and have a, have a little look. But what they are. I'm I'm like brooding over puppies at the minute, but oh we've never had pet well my partner's had pets growing up. He had dogs. He always had a dog in the house. Um when he was a child growing up at home. But we've never had pets since we've been living together in our own homes. But I'm brooding for a little puppy. But I just I wanna wait till the till my youngest child's a bit older. I'll wait he's in nursery at the minute, I wanna wait till he's settled into primary school before we get one. Then I've no, I've more time as well then to train the little puppy and whatnot. No football in Britain this weekend. <laughs> Do you watch it as well, Minnie? I don't even go to the pubs, so it's not about the fans, it's just the sport. <laughs> I just really don't like the sport. Let me zoom you out a bit, because I'm going to come on to this cat in a minute. 
Thanks, Lenny. Cricket. Oh, no. Do you know what, actually? The only, one of the only sports I can actually bear to watch is darts. Um, <laughs> my partner's cousin plays darts in the PDF. And also his brother-in-law. Um, so that's the only one. Because I sometimes watch them when they're on TV. He's played... Um, his cousins played Van Gerwen. <laughs> AFL. Oh, they got floppy ears. Basketball. He's so, you know what? He sometimes watches basketball and he watches the American football as well. Which is just... Right, I'm going to do this. No, let's do this hat bit first before I forget about it again. Then we'll do the bunny. So it won't take me two minutes to do the little hat. So we'll just get the colours I was using for that, which was a Prisma colour, I think. Going to use the charcoal. It was Newcastle United. Oh, cricket is boring. Cricket's so boring. <laughs> no. Cricket, tennis, anything. I just... Oh, no. No, 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 no. There's a little bug on this hat as well. <laughs> Let me bring you in. There's a little bug. Bet you seasick with all the zooming I keep doing here. So that's just to base the hat with. And I'm going to go in with the Arteza Oinks Black. Where's it gone? <gasps> that's there. It keeps disappearing, this pencil. It's like blending in with all my other pencils. So it's the Oinks Black A149. Do you love it, Jenna? There's nothing worse than golf, though, is there? Golf, oh, golf, no. And my partner used to play on the Tiger Woods golf game. Oh, my, that was just as boring as well. <laughs> he used to always buy that Tiger Woods game for the Xbox, and I'm like, really? I have to sit and watch you play on that? That's worse than the actual golf on the telly. I wonder how he's doing now, actually, Tiger Woods. I remember my partner saying he'd had an accident or something. But I don't I don't really watch the news, I'll be honest. I don't keep up with things. All I'm on all day is YouTube and Instagram. <laughs> I bet you lot are as well. I'm going to leave that light shade right on the edge. I'm going to come in with a Prisma colour in a second just to blend it all out. I'm going to use my darkest black now, which is the Prisma colour black PC935. Do you play tennis, Minna? You know what, actually, I used to like, in school, I used to like playing badminton in school. It took me ages to learn how to hit that flipping shuttle shuttlecock though, is it called a shuttlecock? <laughs> I don't want to get that wrong. Um, yeah, it took ages to practice how to do that. <laughs> yeah, golf, golf and cricket. Nah. YouTube and Twitch. I don't go on Twitch. My partner does. I think he watches all the gamers and stuff on Twitch. I 
I'm just going to blend the edge here now with a white Prismacolor 938. The sun's shining through now on my back, I'm nice and warm. But this morning on the school run, I got absolutely soaked. It chucked it down on me. Absolutely threw it down. Yeah, I think playing for fun is better. You enjoy it more, I think. They have crafts. Mmm, might have a leak. So I'm just going to put a tiny bit more of the Oinx Blank. Blank? Black? Just along that line. Just to try and blend it a bit nicer. Right, let's start the little bunny bunny. Twitch is like a platform, isn't it, where they... I, I don't... I've not really been on it, but it's like a platform, a bit like YouTube, Jenna. Yeah. So I'm going to base all this little bunny rabbit with the raw umber 10% luminance. Really mixing up my pencils again today box sets i can't watch box sets i don't know why i don't know why and i've never watched game of thrones don't don't hate me i've never watched it i'm like i don't like watching sex on tv <laughs> i really don't it makes me feel uncomfortable so i'm like my partner watched it I was like, I ain't watching that. I no way I ain't watching that. So I used to come upstairs and do my colouring while he sat downstairs and watched that. <laughs> Does she lie? Oh, I think I think you're right. I think I've seen her advertise it on Instagram sometimes. I think she does a paintings live on there, don't she? Yeah, I think you're right. I think, actually, Camilla Derrico might as well. I think quite a lot of people use it. But I've got that much going on with Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. I think I can't add another one into the mix. I'll never be off my phone. <laughs> exactly, Minna. <sighs> Such a prude. I don't think I've got five kids. Have you not watched it either, Jenna? I just assume that everybody's watched it better me. <laughs> I'm using the same pencil colour, I'm just darkening up some of these little areas. Oh, did you, Lou? Was it fun? Do you have to be a member of Colour in Heaven to go on that? I was wondering. But man, you, you won't catch me on there because I can't do Zoom either. I've managed to avoid any sort of Zoom calls all this time. I really cannot bear face-to-face -face things. 
and I cannot bear looking at my own face staring back at me. I absolutely hate it. <laughs> Minnie. <laughs> I'm definitely not alone now, am I? <laughs> definitely not. I'm more of a Star Wars -y person. I've watched all the Mandalorians. I watched um Wonder Vision. I like all the Marvel stuff. We started the Winter Soldier last weekend. So I'm more of a sort of Star Wars Marvel type of person. <laughs> And happy Trekker as an Eva, there we go. We're a whole room full of Game of Thrones newbies. Looking quite dapper, this little rabbit, isn't it? Ah, uh, so you do have to be a subscriber then. I've thought about it so many times subscribing to that magazine, but I'm not going to lie, I don't like many of the issues lately. There's been a couple that I've been out and bought from my local supermarket, but I wouldn't like to receive every issue they've done lately, it has to be said. Not really been a massive fan. Right, I'm gonna bring a bit of this purple into it now, this violet colour. So this is the Violet Grey 093 in the Luminance. It was very action-packed, the uh, Winter Soldier. I'm not sold on it yet. I do need to watch. Yeah, I do need to watch more episodes to get sold on it. So far, but Wonder Vision was fab. <laughs> Hello. I knew you'd have watched it. I had a feeling. I had a feeling. <laughs> I'm just going to start off by putting a bit of this around his iron cheek area. Just as though he's got a bit of violet blush <laughs> and under his eyes. And then we'll blend it with a Prisma Colour White, the trusty, trusty Prisma Colour White. Hey Debbie! No worries, I know she's not well, bless her. Did you have any much much of a better night with her last night? Exactly, Minnie, exactly. And if it is in your local supermarket, then it's just, it's easier to just go and pick up the copies that you want, isn't it? I've never watched The Walking Dead either, Lou. And I've never seen that, Jenna. <laughs> oh, are you watching it as well, Deborah? No, I've never watched it. Is it zombies? Did you tell me it's zombies? Or have I like made that up? I'm going to put a bit of this colour in his ear as well. I'm still not sold on these Luminance pencils, you know, I find it really hard to colour with them. 
I got a, I think I've got about 10 single stock. But yeah, I'm, I'm not that sold on them, I'll be honest. Zombies. <laughs> so I'm just going to blend this a bit with a white Prisma colour. I can't comment on that. I have no idea who Negan is. <laughs> is he a good looking buddy, Debbie? <laughs> well, that didn't sharpen very much. My favourite pencils. It's a hard one to pick just one pencil, but because... I like my pencils for different reasons, but for a budget friendly pencil, my Artezas have never let me down. My Arteza 120 set, I love them, I know them inside out. Um, so I'm just using this Burnt Orca 10% 872 in the luminance for his nose. Um, but yeah, I really like the Polychromos pencils. I really do. I like the polys. I like my Tombow Erogitans. I know they're not everybody's favourite. A lot of people find those pencils hard to work with. Now I will say you do need to find the right paper for them. They do prefer a more textured paper. But they are a very pigmented pencil. They pack a punch. So do the Derwent Colour Softs. But the Derwent Colour Softs don't... You can't get many layers with the Derwent Colour Softs at all. So if you're a person that loves to layer, they're possibly not for you. But yeah, I think each pencil brings something different to the table. And I think it really depends on what you're colouring. Cup of tea. Ooh, I've got a coffee inside of me. I don't know if it's gone cold now. One of me little posh Dulce Gusto Cafe Ole's. <laughs> do you drink tea Debbie or coffee right I'm going to do his little I'm going to put a really small amount of pale blue over this glass so that it looks let me find my pale blue pencil my baby pencil because it is a baby. It's my little PC 904. <laughs> Supernatural. I've never watched that either. Can you tell I'm just like, I don't watch much TV. Rather than doing a full colour, I'm just going to put little specks of this blue there dotted around really randomly. And then we're going, to, going over the top with some white gel pen later. I think I'm going to leave his spots on his tie white. Oh, can you hear that alarm? <gasps> That's the house across the road from me. The alarm goes off constantly. Like a bit of wind and it goes off. Lemon tea. Oh, I've never tried that. I've seen a lot of people reviewing the Brute Finner, if that's how you pronounce it. Is that alarm really loud? Ten days to yourself. <gasps> the thing is you can do. But <laughs> I'm going to do the PC935 black now. Just on a bit of his bow tie. To deepen it up in some areas. Oh that alarm is really annoying. Me. Can you hear it on stream? Oh it's gone off now.
the house across they've got a big um it's like a three-story old farmhouse it's lovely but that alarm goes off all the time <laughs> There we go. Desperate Housewives again. Is I think I used to watch that. Or is it not what I'm thinking of? No, not Desperate Housewives. I used to watch something even more trashier. I used to watch the actual Housewives of Orange County or Housewives of wherever and wherever. <laughs> that was Care Crash TV that. <laughs> Car crush. You don't like coffee. I never used to like coffee, you know. I used to only drink tea, 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 tea. And then I had my kids and I slowly kept having a coffee. Then I'd have a tea. Then I'd have a coffee. Then I'd have a tea. And then I just totally convicted to coffee. Do you always stir in? Debbie, I've been in that house. Do you want me to tell you? I'll just zoom out for you why I think of what colours I want to do this down here now. Um, I've been in that house because you're going to laugh at me. Um, one day when it was cold and icy outside, I'd just got all the kids in the car and I'd forgot one of the bags in the house. So I'm I'm really panicky and anxious about things, me, and I think, right, I need to run, they're all in the car, I need to run in the house for this bag, but I don't want anybody to come and steal my car with kids in. So I'm like, I always lock the car. So I thought, I'll lock the car, run in the house, Grab the bag, yada yada. Let me just get what pencil I want and I'll chat at the same time. So I'm going to use the Bista for the cat and I'm going to base it. Yeah, so I locked the door in the car, ran in for this bag, went back out to the car, put my key in the door and the key snapped in the door. Right, it snapped in the door. It, it was locked inside, the kids was locked inside. And I didn't have a spare key. And I was like, oh my flipping God. And you know when you just panic, your heart sinks and you're like, the kids are in the car, I can't get them out. I didn't even have my phone. I was like, oh my God, the phone's in the car. So I ran over to that house and I knocked on the door. I said, I'm really sorry. I said, can I, can I use your phone, please? Because I've just, the keys just snapped in the car door and I can't get the kids locked in the car. <laughs> and she's like... She's like, yeah, yeah, come in, no problem, come in. And I went in and it's lovely, all tiled floors throughout. And then a the kitchen sort of stepped down. You sort of stepped down these concrete tiles down into the kitchen and it like went down one level. And um, she said, my husband's a mechanic. She said, I'll give him a ring, see if he can come back and get you in. So she rung her husband for some advice. <laughs> And I said, I'll just, I said, I'll just run back over the road. Just check the kids are, are all right. I don't want them to be getting upset in the car, right? So I walked back over to the car and I thought, I'm just going to try and fiddle because there was a bit of the key still inside the door. I thought, I'm going to try and pull on it and fiddle it. And luckily I managed to get them out. <laughs> luckily I managed to get them out. <laughs> but oh my gosh, there's nothing worse, is there? nothing worse and then i was so embarrassed because i thought i've just had to go in that house and like say that i've locked my kids in the car <laughs> i know ain't it just i was so embarrassed <laughs> does anybody else ever lock the kids in the car <laughs> just me oh dear She was really lovely though. <laughs> I'm going to ginger this cat up a little bit. So I'm going to bring some yellow and orange PC1002 into this. I did nearly have a flipping heart attack. I thought, what a thing for happen. But that's, that's what happens, you know, if when it's cold weather. That's how my windscreen wiper came off. It snapped off. 
I'm going to zoom you in because I'm not really close and move my book up a bit. Is that better? Hi, Tammy. How are you? I've just been telling my story when I locked the kids in the car. You've missed it. You've missed it. <laughs> I know I'm in it, right? Definitely. Without a doubt. I think if I wasn't panicking so much, I'd have been able to realise that I could have tweet, twiddled it first, but I just my immediate reaction was panic. And then I thought, well, I'll ring my partner. And then I thought, oh, my phone's in the in the flipping car. <laughs> oh, dear. I'm going to layer and layer this cat up. So I will be putting some, some of this, bit of this orange in, then a bit more brown, then a bit more orange. It's the same sort of thing. If all my pencils stay up there. It's the same sort of thing that I did here. I really layered the different colours up on this owl so stick with me <laughs> we'll get it done hopefully i'm brilliant tammy thank you brilliant today it's my daughter's eighth, birth eighth birthday on monday as well so she said she wanted to take some sweeties into school so i've just been to the shops and bought some sweeties so yeah Quite good this morning, apart from getting absolutely soaked with rain. School run. <laughs> yeah. They couldn't open it from the inside, Jenna. They couldn't open it. It was like Yeah, they didn't they didn't know what to do. I have a child lock on the back on the back seats as well. <laughs> Cause my little girl used to always try and open the door when we was when the car was moving. Yeah, childproof locks. You have to, don't you? I mean, if worst came to worst, I'd have just smashed the window. <laughs> the front window. Not the front front one, like the front passenger. Or what not. I'm really randomly placing this orange. And like I say, I'm going to do it in layers, so I will be deepening it up at some point and adding some more brain. I think I'm going to have a curry for my tea tonight. Been trying to make, you know, meals for everyone rather than everyone having something different because the kids, the real, real fusser. So I normally do their tea or dinner at first and then me and my partner eat when the kids are in bed later on. But I thought, no, I'm going to start making us all a meal together. So we had lobbies, which if you don't know, that's corned beef, potatoes, carrots, um, stock cubes and water. I put it in my slow cooker and it all comes together really, really nice. Um, one kid started crying at the mere thought of eating that. One was mourning like a teenage Kevin from Kevin and Perry. So, yeah. <laughs> the next day we had chilli. And again, my oldest daughter was just like sat with a sulk on her face, like just stirring at the plate. And then... Yesterday, luckily, they like what I made yesterday. I made spaghetti bolognese yesterday. 
and they all like that they all love that so that was a winner winner in a chicken dinner but yeah they're a nightmare to cook because of five kids they all like or don't like different things and it's just an absolute nightmare I've got one what won't what doesn't like meat not because she's a vegetarian or anything like that she just doesn't like the taste the texture of meat one doesn't like potatoes and I'm just thinking, this is the staple of any family meal. Like, potatoes and meat is the staple of any family meal. And I cannot win, can I, with them kids? <laughs> oh, you're making corned beef stew? Oh, yum, yum. Yeah, we had beetroot and red cabbage with it. And crusty rolls. Warm, warm crusty rolls. Can't beat it, can you? Put a bit of orange in his nose. I'm going to go in with some nice either glitter or metallic gel pens rain the glasses later on. Very last because they always end up smudging it with my hands. I'm going to go back in with some browns now. I'm just going to sharpen it so I've got a really um, fine point can't eat potatoes can you not eat potatoes if you're diabetic i didn't know that i did not know that what's the reason for that then happy tracker what's the pit what's potatoes got in them <laughs> a minute <laughs> red meat that's like my sister she's like that she eats red meat i don't know why so this is the Bista again, this sorry, Bista 179 that I'm going out in with again. May as well be a vegan. <laughs> well, it's not nice when something makes you ill. Occasionally I've wondered if milk's done that to me because I can go months where I have like toast or something like that for breakfast and then when I started having cereals big bowl of cereal with obviously there's a lot of milk on cereal I started getting stomach ache and I thought is that because of that or oh. but it's only when I have lots like it doesn't normally bother me until I have quite a lot of it No potatoes, wheat, rice or pasta turns Kerber hard. I didn't know that. I did not know that. It's no fun, is it, Happy Trekker? <laughs> You'd think it were just all sweets and chocolate and stuff like that. I missed any chat, just having a toot. I don't think I have. I'm just going over some of these little lines with this brown as well. I'm going to blend it all out. I'm hoping that my Hannah Curls and Book will be delivered any day as well. It might actually come today if I'm lucky. Whichever book comes next in the post, I'll do a um, my next live from that book. So it'll either be the Hannah Curls and the Johanna Basford or the Anastasia Ella Calder Viva Beak. So whichever one comes first. I 
think I might do his little jacket in the Derwent ink tents. Well, it's right at the bottom here. It might be easier to get to with the um, ink tents. Might do it like a green similar to his hat. done it again I've left the telly on downstairs and I'm thinking there's voices downstairs and it's my telly <laughs> you're waiting on the Anastasia book where did you order it from Lou I got mine from cool craft oh the postman's just actually post posted something through my letterbox so I don't think it's a book or else it won't fit through I don't think I don't imagine yeah, I've ordered mine from Cool Craft Books, I think it's called. It's still on its travels. I don't think it's entered the UK yet. Which ones have you seen, Tammy? I've noticed Boot Depository getting a few more books in than they normally do as well. They never used to sell the Swedish versions of the Hannah Carlson, but now they have, which I'm happy about. He's <laughs> looking cool, thank you. Do you go directly to Anastasia? I didn't know how to do that. Was it cheaper that way, Lou? Did you, Minnie? You know what? She sent an email out, actually. I think she was planning on doing some sort of colouring classes with, for a new book, book launch. So you're not far off with that dream. You're not far off with it. Maybe you got the email and subconsciously, <laughs> subconsciously had the dream. But yeah, I'm sure I've had that email or I've seen it somewhere, probably on Instagram or something like that. I love Tim Jeff's books. I absolutely love them. They're normally cheaper on Amazon when they have them discounted. I think one of them was only £6 on Amazon the other week. I don't know if it's gone back up again. But sometimes they really come down in price on Amazon. I'm going to get these whiskers a bit of brown colour in them. I don't want to go in with a black because I don't want them to be really harsh looking. I'm just going to deepen them up with this brown by pressing on a tiny bit harder. I'm going to give him a little pink nose as well in a minute. Do 
$20 for the book and 19 shipping. <gasps> oh, I so wish I'd have known that before, Lee. You don't even know, want to know what I've paid. I think I paid about £60. I think I paid about £60 altogether. I think the boot was £27, £26 or £27, and then the shipping was horrific. Oh, I saw we should have known that before. <laughs> Damn. Oh, dearie me. Dearie, dearie me. Thanks, Tammy. I'm just jerking up these little whiskers on this side and then... I'll do his little cute little nose. There we go. I know I'll know for next time. Oh my dear, dear me. Oh well. So I'm going to go in with this Burn Talker 10% 872 luminance for his little nose. It's a really subtle like pinky peachy sort of tone this. And then I'm going to go in with a little bit of ink tents for his little jumper shirt. So I'm just looking at these greens. Bring you out a bit. So these are the Derwent ink tents. If you don't know about these, they're a water activated pencil and they're an ink. So once the pigments dry, you can't add water and move it around again. But I love these. I love the, sh the colours. Just amazing. I think I'm going to go for this ironing green. This one here, I think that will really complement his um, little hat. <laughs> you want to colour everything and finish your DP. That's the thing when you start diamond painting. You don't know. You have to choose. Do I want to colour? Do I want to diamond paint? I've got the big Mother Earth diamond painting on the go. But um, yeah, I've not done any of it for about a week now. So, oh, that's not sharpened very well. So, with the Derwent ink tents, I'm just going to lightly, let's bring you in again, push the book up. Just going to go over everything. You don't have to be too neat with this because it is going to activate with water and you're going to push the colour around. So, you don't need to get the colour down on here perfectly or anything like that. You can scribble it on if you want to scribble it on. A bit like this. Doesn't really matter. I'm going to get a scrap piece of paper to put under this page as well so it's not leaking through to the page beneath it, there's a little bit there. Okay, where's my scrap paper? You want to cross stitch too? Oh, I've never been into stitching. I can't even sew a button back on. That's how bad I am. So I'm just gonna pop that there. It is stunningly and it's so colourful. I've been loving all the different colours in it. The jasmine ones are stunning as well. Yeah. Pictures don't do, a, do them justice at all. <laughs> what treat should be for finishing your work? <gasps> what have you been eyeing up, Minnie? What have you been eyeing up? Right, so I've just got some water in a glass and I've got my... I'm using my Princeton Neptune size 4 brush and I've got a very old, very dirty tea towel at the side of me just a dry cloth. 
So what I do is wet my brush, make sure it's really dried off on the tea towel because I don't want too much water down on this page. So I only use a damp brush to activate this. And then we'll just... Oh, maybe a bit more, a bit more water, guys. Wiped it off a bit too much, though. But yeah, I really don't want too much water because I don't want to go straight through to the next page. So you have to be quite quick when you're working with ink tents. So I'm just gonna refrain from leaking up at the screen a second while I get all this activated. go now sometimes i'll either wait for that to dry and then i'll go back in with a darker shade and then activate it or sometimes i'll just let it dry and i'll go over with the shade and with regular pencils it just depends so for this why i'm live streaming i'm probably going to let it dry and go over with pencils a bit later on but I'm gonna get my gel pens out now and I'm gonna just go around his little glasses and the little bunny's eyeglass at the top of the page what have I missed in chat another colouring book <laughs> a new switch game the, I love my black white widow monarchs they're really nice They've got some really nice pastel shades as well. So let me just grab my gel pens, guys. I think we'll go for... Let me just test this colour out on here. Yeah, I'm going to go for this colour. I think this is one of the Colier gel pens. The Colier metallic gel pens that I got. I'm just going to go around these glasses with this. It's like a bronze almost, this colour I think. I need to go and get my eyes tested with my daughter and get some new glasses. I'm due an appointment to keep putting it off because <laughs> I don't want to go. <laughs> yeah, the Monarchs are a fab price as well, the Black, Bit Black Widow pencils. They really are. Really good price. I've put mine all together in one case now. Take them all into tins. I think the only ones I've not got is the skin sets, the skin tone sets of Black Widows. Don't know if I'm blocking what I'm doing here. My hand began in the way. So I forgot to say at the beginning of this video as well, I normally say it's a bit late now, but I normally say if you are watching this back on replay, just click on the live chat feature down below and you'll be able to see everybody's <laughs> chatting. But it's, it's rather late now. I should have said that at the start. Yeah, I think you'll like them, Mini. I think mine were on sale at the time. Um, I think they're £20 at the moment. I think when I got mine, they were £16. They'd gone down to 16 And I snapped them up at that price. 
they've been in my wish list for a while and then I just snap them up you've got some of the best pencils there I mean they're my favorites they're two of my favorites the Artesia and Faber Castell the Artes is a fab for the price. I really love them. The colour range in the 120 set is lovely. I'm just going to do this bit gold as well, well bronze, whatever colour this is. I'm going to do that little bit underneath there. I'm not sure what it is to be honest but, well it's that colour now isn't it? <laughs> it is. Two bits from Czech Republic and a Petra, I'll not pronounce her last name. Is the Petra one the floral? I think it's a floral one. If it's that one, I really, really want that one, but I don't know where to get my hands on it. I think you might possibly have to contact Petra directly. Yeah, postage is just shocking, Lena. It's absolutely shocking. So I'm going to do this little bunny's little glass No, but I'm going to use silver for this one I think if I can find my silver gel pen I don't know where I've put one of my pencil cases that have them all in I'll have to use this bit of a glittery silver one not to worry it can be a cool dude he's a cool bunny All we've got to do now is the little bug and a bit of shading on that cat's top. So, let's, let me have a close-up of this little bug. I'm not sure what it is. I don't know what it's carrying. It's like this bit... I don't know if you can see this. Let me hold it up. It's like it's the bug and then it's like it's either carrying a piece of paper... I think it's carrying a piece of paper. What do you reckon? <laughs> I'm going to go that it's carrying a piece of paper and I'm going to do it like a neutral shade and then the bug I might do green. <laughs> like it's one of them green beetles. Have you seen those? Are they called shield, shield beetles or shield bugs or have I made that up? <laughs> Yeah, I have, I have a 300 slot one for mine too. A hat pin. What's a, what's a hat pin? Is that like brass? Is it metal? Happy checker. Yeah, I'm confused. At, at one point I thought, is it part of the hat? And then I thought, like a paper or some sort. <laughs> I have no clue now. No, I have no clue. But I'll do the beetle first. I'm going to do the beetle green. It's going to be a little bit of a, uh, a cat's head. Really? Let me look again. I really do not know anymore. <laughs> Hat pin is metal. I, I don't have a Scooby Doo, so we'll do <laughs> we'll do the bug. I'm just gonna colour him all green. It's gonna be all green with a bit darker on his butt. I love the look of those shield bugs, if that's what they're called. Right, so we'll we'll go for a hat pin then. It does sort of look like a sort of little bad jar something. So I'm gonna use the this Monarch 109 Dirt Grey. I'm 
and then I'll just use a little bit of the gum metal the black widow gum metal MN092 just in some little areas just to bring some different colour into it that'll have to do <laughs> I'm going to go back down to the kitty cat and I'm just going to put some shading on his little top and then he's done. Then that page is done. It's a bee. Don't say it's a bee. Well, it's not anymore. It's a beetle. <laughs> it's, a, it's a shield bug now. <laughs> is it a bee? Let me look. Is it really? Oh my word, it's, it's really... It's really not now. And I've missed its head off. No, I've missed its head as well, but it's gonna to have to remain green now. So it's a it's now a shield bug. <laughs> uh there's so many colouring pages that I'm like that with. I just make my own thing up of what something is. Because they have no clue. <laughs> just to confuse me right i'm gonna go in with this prismacolor dark green pc908 just to darken up some of this little jacket and there we go and then i'll do a little bit of a pan pastel background and then i can head off and get some lunch what are you guys gonna be up to I'm glad the Sun's come out now though it was it wasn't that pleasant this morning and now it's looking very nice to come over the top with my hands sometimes so you can see better he's reading a book well no he's not is he <laughs> no he's not or it could be a great book i'm so bad at working out what things are in colouring pages though it's so bad Thanks, Lena. Yeah, I thought it, I thought it was. It's a beautiful book. I love colouring flowers. I really do. So have you coloured this page, Tammy? Have you coloured any pages in it? Oh, the sun just came out and disappeared then. Bed soon, I know. It's very late there now, is it, Jenny? Is it about half past 11 now, something like that? Very late. I, I would be in bed. <laughs> I would be long asleep.
<laughs> not got rain to that one. Which three books have you been colouring in then, Tammy? I find I just get out what takes my fancy at that moment. I try not to plan because, you know, you just have to go for what you're in the mood for colouring, I think. The Hermit Crab. Oh, it's so cute. That that page is so cute with its little rich tea. Is it the rich tea biscuit that it's got? So cute. Oh, I hate when the image goes off the page. There's nothing more tricky than trying to colour. And this time a little bit down here. 11.15. But it's Friday, Friday night. Oh, I need a lie in tomorrow. Hopefully the kids will let me have one, but they don't tend to lie in. <laughs> if anything, they maybe even wake up earlier on a weekend. What are they like, these kids? Right, I'm just going to blend it all a little bit with a white prisma colour. BC938. Oh, Lou, Lou did brilliantly yesterday, Happy Trekker. She did a very first live stream yesterday. She was fab. Oh, that sounds good, Tammy. I like the Disney books. I only have the Vitrellis, but I really love the pictures. It's just a really, it's a really big book, that one. It takes some dedication to start one of those pages. Happy checker. You know what as well, I've totally missed this middle section out here with the button on, with the darker green. So we'll go back in there a little bit. When you're going to try your next live stream, Lou? Right, I'm going to zoom you out and we'll have a little look at what we've done. Get you in. Hopefully you can see the progress. And then I'm going to put in a little bit of a background now. And then we've done. So I'm going to use a stencil and I'm going to use my grape and pastel. So I'm going to use this one. And it's the neutral grey colour. And now I got this one out of the portrait set of Pan Pastels. Oh yeah, Easter holidays of course. So I pr yeah, I won't be streaming either next week, guys, for two weeks. 
because obviously I can't stream when the kiddies are at home either. I hadn't even thought about that, Lou. I hadn't even thought about it. Yeah, of course. You don't want my screaming children and Paddy and children in the background of um, the live streams. <laughs> you really don't. So yeah, I'm going to do this. I'm going to find my little stencil wherever it may have disappeared to. Where has it gotten? Oh, I think I put it on my desk behind here. Don't mind me. Right, so I'm going to use the little squares. So this little bit. And I'm going to randomly dot little pieces of it round and about. Um, really, really randomly and roughly. And I'm going to use this little sponge it's very dirty and it needs a clean but it will work we'll use this end while it's grey already so i'm just gonna place it here half off half off sort of at an angle as well i think let's bring you in a bit on this page And I'm going to just slightly dab onto the pan pastel and then rub along. Like that. And then lift it. I've got a bit of a pattern there. So I'll randomly, randomly place little bits so I'm gonna pop it there and I'm just gonna do some of the I'm not gonna do the whole square I'm just gonna really randomly see how I've done that really really randomly a bit paler as well I'm gonna do a bit down here any bits that have sort of transferred they do really erase really well so don't worry about that you can erase anything you don't want on the page before spraying with a fixative oh you'd mind my screaming kids believe me you would mind them oh horrific they are absolutely horrific you'd think someone were mur murdering them honestly <laughs> You really would. <laughs> I'm gonna put a tiny bit here as well. Like that. <laughs> I love backgrounds because you can just have fun with them. They don't have to be perfect. They don't have to be proper. I'm gonna have a bit coming out from this hat sort of sort of like that just doing a bit oh my word not that color not that it matters but yeah a bit seeping out from here sorry if my big hand's in the way we're gonna have a different color on this one a bit of a different color a bit bit of a different texture <laughs> And then I'm going to rub a bit of this pigment off on the side because I want this one to be really faint. So I've not put much on the brush. Uh, sponge, sorry. Brush. And we can have that bit going off the edge. <laughs> Minnie, two of man, two of man have got autism, so that's the level of screaming you would hear on my streams. <laughs> Let's bring you down so you can see the top bit. Yeah, that's the level of screaming you'd get on my streams. Not very nice at all. <laughs> oh, dearie me. So you could put any colours into this, you could even add, when I was trialling it out on a separate piece of paper, I actually 
actually tried putting acrylic over i'm not going to do that today but i did put a bit of acrylic pink acrylic just trying different things out you can do all sorts with backgrounds they're so much fun How old is the upper tracker, or she? I'm gonna put a bit here. It's funny you should say odd because, well, where we live, my daughter's showing lots of signs of PDA, but where we live, they, don't, they won't diagnose PDA. Um, they'll diagnose it as autism with demand avoidance, but she's very PDA, very, very PDA and it's challenging. She won't do anything you ask, she won't get dressed for school in the morning, she won't get out the, in the car, out the car. <sighs> anything you ask her basically is a challenge. Seventeen. Oh yeah, I remember you telling me I think you have two teenage boys, don't you? I think I remember rightly from the other stream. It's going to be a bit fiddly to get into these parts now. I'm not on screen, am I? Let me pull you up. Sorry about that, guys. Of with Rose. Can you hear me but the screen's froze or is it just on mine? Let me know if you can hear me. I think it might just be the screen that's froze. try and get you back if it has it could just be a delay on my and yeah no movement i can see on my um ipad at the side i don't know what has gone on here right i will tell you what guys because i cannot start another stream without closing this one down and restarting a brand new stream um, but I was about to go anyway, I was going to do about five more minutes and then I was about to leave. So rather than start up a brand new stream just for five minutes, I will love you and leave you if that's okay. Thank you so much for everyone for dropping by. I've only got the tiniest amount of stencil work to do on the bottom left hand side of this page and then I'll post it up on Instagram. So if you're on Instagram, head on over and you'll be able to see it. I'm moving my arm in front, honey. It's totally froze out. It's totally froze out, my dear. Well, thank you so much for joining. And I will see you when I next can. I'll schedule a stream next time I'm able to stream. Thank you so much, guys. Bye-bye. Oh, have I got you back? Have I managed to get you back there? I think it has just come back all of a sudden. Let me pop the camera. <laughs> Let me pop the camera back on the tripod. One second, guys. I don't know what happened there. Oh, we're back. I don't know what randomly happened there. But we're back. We're back. Fantastic. See, I've only got this little bit down here to do with the stencil now. Right, we'll just finish it off on camera. <laughs> See, Lou, technology. Technology. It is pants. I don't know why it did that.
no idea and I don't even know what made it come back on because I didn't press anything so I've no no clue <laughs> yeah so funny I'm gonna put a little tiny one here a little faint one And I think I'm going to leave it at that. Let's move that out of the way. So let's zoom you out a little bit so you can see the whole page. Is that better? <laughs> it just, um, I really love doing wacky things with backgrounds. I love it. So just before you spray it with a fixative, make sure like this has gone over the top hat a little bit. So if you just want to erase anything you don't want before you spray in your fixative. Because you don't want to keep that in. It is better with an erasable, uh, kneadable eraser, sorry. Because you don't get these little bits all over your page. But yeah, let me give it a little blow off. And that's that. And we're done. I told you I wouldn't um, be on for much longer anyway. <laughs> but there we go. Thanks for sticking with me while I got it back. Why it just miraculously came back on. But I am going to go now. <laughs> so i will put the page on instagram i'm gonna do this in my own time as well so i'll stick that on there as well i'll probably continue this background over onto this page as well so it looks like a sort of double page spread oh thank you it looks super cool doesn't it super cool cat <laughs> thanks everyone i am going this time and i'll see you again soon bye everyone